This is a dairy farm with a difference. Where the cows are seen as more than milk producing machines. We've passed all your happy, happy cows on the way down. Yes, very happy and spoiled by their bellies, hey? <laughs> um, how many do you have in total? We have 45 now, including babies, moms, dry cows, and every single one is named with a T, except for our twins, they with M's because they were different. What is her name? This is Tansy. She's one of our original girls. We originally got four cows um, when my brother came out of hospital and she was one of our original girls. We've only got two left, I'm afraid, but she is one of our very precious children who wears a Christmas hat on Christmas Day and loves the family. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> and um, so it's interesting because we've just seen the milking process. Yes. And, you know, we go to a supermarket and we just take the milk off the shelf and think it's all fine. Yes. But the way you're doing it. We're doing it very differently, very ethically. Mm -hmm. We I don't like major dairy farms where the cows are kept in a pen. The babies are taken away at a day old. They can't move. They're just in one little block. Ours are with their moms until a month old. And then they get taken away at night. And then three months old, they get taken away fully. But we find they're much happier, healthier. They pretty much own the farm, the babies. They do whatever they want, whenever they want. It's very important to us that the babies and the moms are all happy. We don't push our cows. They're never stressed. And then the quality of the milk that you're actually getting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> the quality of the milk. We are getting a much higher milk solid to the amount of milk we're getting. It's very creamy. You'll see when we go through in the morning, you've got about that much cream on your one liter of milk. Oh, Tansy. Um, oh, thanks, Tansy. <laughs> Well, this is my welcome to farm life. Yes, you've been initiated now. Am I, am I welcomed by the cows? She now? loves you very much, don't <laughs> worry. Good, good. Here, this is our dairy. Come in. Here's some of the milk, as you can oh, see. Oh, wow, look at very, that. Is that the cream on the top? All cream oh. on the top, and it will even separate more by tomorrow. I don't think I've so. ever seen milk like that for the last 50 years. <laughs> it's, ve it's very rare to find. Um, but so as you can see, Flory's just filling a couple of bottles there, which a customer will come later, and she's coming to collect for her family. So this really does show your quality of your milk. It's just fantastic. Our quality of milk is very high because our cows aren't pushed. We're a, low input low output we understand that we're not we're never going to get 25 liters out of a cow which some dairies do but we're fine with that because the quality is so much better the milk solids in our milk is so much higher than normal milk so we're very happy and our girls are very happy very mad very much madams if they don't want to be milked they don't get milked if it's windy they don't want to walk they won't walk <laughs> so are you finding that i mean each one of these cows has its own character Every single cow is different. All of them, I know them very well now. I've worked with them for half a year. And as soon as they walk out of the paddock downhill, I can tell if they're sick. I can tell if something's wrong. I can tell usually two days before if they're gonna calve, because they just change. And I can see that change straight away, which is very important to my mum and I to make sure that we know each cow and we're happy with each cow. I think it's important for everybody to actually start understanding that the milk that we're getting is just a product, but there is there is an animal behind it. There is a character yes. behind no, that. No, definitely. And to treat them humanely, you're just going to get better products at the end of the day. Yes, I, I agree. Um, I, my mom often says people just see the cow standing in the paddock chewing the cud, and it's just a cow to them. But to us, it's our pets. Everyone has a name. Everyone is special to me. If one is sick, I feel sick. I'm so worried about them. I wake up every hour to check them. And we make sure that everyone is cared for in their own specific way. I also think that your customers are probably really happy because if they <laughs> are drinking the milk, I'm, I'm one of them now. I'm going to buy some of this milk. But um, yeah, I'm quite sure that they actually, their health is probably better through this quality. Yes, if you've heard of a book called The Devil in Milk, it's about A1 and A2 protein. And lactose intolerant people can't drink A1 protein, but they can drink A2. And because we aren't pushing our cows, we're not feeding silage, all our milk is A2. And we have three customers who come and buy milk and their lactose intolerant children can drink our milk without problem. Sure, so, nice. and our customer base is growing exponentially which is a little bit scary for me but if we're getting bigger and bigger by the day so it's very exciting and is your vision if you do grow will you grow your farm the same way that you 
the yes. same principles that you've implemented now. Yes, we, we're very strict on our principles. No, we're using sect semen, so we don't have bull calves because we don't believe in the culling of bull calves. The few that we do have from when we first started are what my mom calls paddock friends, and they just live here and eat grass. And when we are bigger, the most we want to milk is 100 cows. So we'll still have the same principles. We'll still be small. We'll expand our cheeses. And, but still, what our cows can produce, not pushing them. If they drop during winter, they drop. We'll just have less product. Abby, I'd love to taste some of this milk. Of course. Here we go. We've got some warm, fresh from the cows this morning. Excellent. There we go. Creamy and delicious. Thank Enjoy. You. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. quite sweet when it's warm. It tastes delicious. It really tastes delicious. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't even, there's no smell or anything. I was no. expecting like a... You kind of think it's going to smell like a cow, but mm. it doesn't. It's just like a normal milk. Oh no, it's delicious. I think you could drink a lot of this, so... Yes, it's my, my nephew's favourite thing. I think he probably drinks about a litre a day oh, when he goodness. visits us. It Loves really it goes down so nicely. Yes. Now, if, um, if one of the cows is ill, because this is not pasteurised, does that get passed down as well? No, we're very careful about our cows. We have teat wash, teat guard, everything. The only thing they can get is mastitis, and that's just a little bug that gets in. But we have a mastitis checking cup, and if there's the slightest chance to have mastitis, we don't use that milk, it gets thrown away. And then SEC counts TB, contagious abortion, they checked for once a year. So they're clean, they're happy, they're healthy. We make sure of it, yeah. Well, it tastes so, awesome. Thanks. And um, you've also got some yogurt here. Yes, I've got some yogurt straining there. We strain our yogurt to tra the traditional way through muslin cloth. So it's heated in a big cheese vat, cooled down, wrapped in blankets overnight, all nice and warm so the cultures work. And then it's strained through muslin cloth, traditional, old fashioned, going back in time. <laughs> so, so this is really taking us back, but really yes. bringing the nutrition back into our food. Yes, there's, there's no bad stuff in there, just the live cultures, so it's a really good probiotic, it's healthy, it's full fat, good for you, delicious, I could live on yogurt. <laughs> wonderful, well, well done for what you're doing. Thank it's you. It's so wonderful to see a young person going back and doing such traditional, nutritious food production, so Thank it's you really so awesome. Much. Let's just give this order to Helen. Thanks, Abby. Helen. Thank you. Pleasure. Good. Hi, Helen. Hi. Um, so you one of the regular customers here at um, Abby's Farm? Yes, yeah, I come once a week to get my milk. And what benefit has it had for, you know, have you seen a benefit in, in drinking this milk? Definitely, especially with my daughters. They, well the one, especially she was intolerant, dairy intolerant, and um, she used to get um, a terrible sinus and she even got bronchopneumonia. And when I put her onto this milk, she, she can drink as much of it as she wants. She's completely fine with it, you know. It's just because it's in its natural state. Yes, and it's so wonderful to hear that because most people say, you know, if there's a, if there's a problem with the children with the allergies, cut yeah. out dairy. Exactly. And here you're having dairy. Exactly. Well, the doctors told us that my daughter was dairy intolerant and she wouldn't be able to ever have dairy. And I didn't want to accept that, you know, so that's, yeah. <laughs> that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, no, please. Cool. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs>